This is the solution to written homework 19. The purpose of this exercise is to give you an antiderivative that requires uh, anti-differentiation by parts and also another one that looks like it might use anti-differentiation by parts but in fact it requires the substitution. So this one requires by parts <coughs> mainly because you cannot use a substitution. So to label these pieces, this is an algebraic piece, and this an exponential piece. And as a result, that tells us that our choice for u is 3x, and then dv is automatically everything else, e to 8x dx. So then by parts has four symbols in it. Here are two of them. The one we can find from u is du, so du is 3 dx. The one we can find from dv is v, so this would be e to 8x divided by 8. We'll omit the constant here because we're not finished yet. The right hand side of by parts is uv minus antiderivative v du. So now just plugging things in 3x times e to 8x over 8 minus antiderivative e to 8x over 8 times 3dx <coughs> simplifying a little bit <coughs> This would be 3x e to 8x over 8 minus 3 eighths antiderivative e to 8x dx, and that is one of the antiderivatives we know. So 3x e to 8x over 8 minus 3 eighths e to 8x over 8 plus a constant. <clears throat> this one can be done with a substitution because that exponent is x to 4 and here we have something that looks like the derivative of x to 4, so we can use the substitution u is x to 4, so that du is 4x to 3 dx, <coughs> so that du over 4 is x to 3 dx. <clears throat> so this gives us, this substitution gives us e to u du divided by 4, <clears throat> which is 1 fourth e to u plus a constant. And resubstituting x gives one-fourth exponential of x to 4 plus a constant.